Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. India stands on the cusp of pioneering its aircraft development, a potential reality in the near future. With the Indian aviation market poised to become one of the world's top five largest markets, there's a burgeoning demand for carriers like Indigo, Air India, and Akasa. Together, they've placed orders for over 1,400 aircraft, from Boeing and Airbus, marking one of the highest orders in the aviation industry. To transform the dream of a made-in-India passenger aircraft into reality and propel the local aerospace ecosystem, India requires a comprehensive national aerospace policy. The government has notably urged the establishment of final aircraft assembly lines by Airbus and Boeing within India, driven by the substantial orders they've received. India has exerted considerable pressure to establish assembly lines domestically, mirroring the success of similar initiatives abroad. With its aviation market growing at an unprecedented rate, India boasts the largest order book for new aircraft, estimated at a staggering $70 billion over the next decade. Existing airports bustle with travelers, while new ones are either under construction or in the planning phase. The timeline for India to realize the Prime Minister's vision of a made-in-India commercial aircraft hinges on various factors. Leveraging its prowess in exporting its services and aerospace technologies, India is poised for the next stage of development. In the realm of commercial aerospace manufacturing, Europe and the US have long held the reins but China has emerged as a formidable contender in recent years. China's journey began in 2002 with the ARJ-21, a regional jet, and later the C-919, a larger narrow-body aircraft. Both programs heavily rely on foreign technologies, sourced from global original equipment manufacturers, underscoring the importance of collaborations in creating an appealing environment for foreign companies to operate within China. India, too, boasts a rapidly growing aerospace sector that traces its roots back to pre-independence times, predating China's endeavors by over 60 years. HAL, initially established as Hindustan Aircraft Limited in 1940, spearheaded this journey. Given its early establishment, India was poised to become a major player in aerospace manufacturing. One drawback in the defense sector is the inherent uncertainty surrounding government budgets and delays in allocating funds for helicopter purchases. On the civilian front, aircraft demand remains consistently high, especially when they meet passenger needs and receive regular approvals from authorities. India's aviation market is distinct calling for unique aircraft programs. With a high density of flyers, there's a prevalent preference for short-haul flights, from rural areas to major cities. As the air travel network expands to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, the number of operational airports is expected to surge from the current 140 to 230 to 240. The demand for smaller aircraft, particularly for serving Tier 1 to 3 cities, is paramount for airlines. While the Dornier aircraft has been utilized for some routes, its availability limitations and noise levels have raised concerns. Jet planes emerge as preferable options for Indian travelers due to their efficiency and comfort, aligning better with the needs of airlines. Introducing the Indian Regional Jet, a cutting-edge project led by India's National Aerospace Laboratories and set to be manufactured by HAL. This regional airliner aims to redefine air travel 
with its design, offering a capacity of 8,100 passengers. The base model, known as the RTA70, will boast 8090 seats while distinguishing itself with a cost that's 20% lower than its global counterparts. Development is well underway, with plans for a 90-seater variant. Expected to take flight by 2026. This next-generation aircraft promises impressive specifications including a range of 1,350 nautical miles 2,500 kilometers, and requiring a takeoff and landing field with dimensions of 28.6 meters in length and a wingspan of 29.4 meters, it reaches a service ceiling of 30,000 feet. Meanwhile, National Aerospace Laboratories. Innovative spirit extends to the NAL SARS. Another project in the works. Already, prototypes like the Mark I and its successor, the second version, Mark II, are pushing boundaries. The SARS Mark II showcases versatility, offering ranges of 600 km with 19 passengers, 1,200 km with 14 passengers, and an impressive 2,000 km with 8 passengers. With a top cruise speed exceeding 600 km per hour and an endurance of 6 hours, it's a game changer. Equipped with propeller engines initially, the SARS is poised for future upgrades to jet engines if project requirements align. Ambition shines through in its cost-effective approach, targeting superscript 150 crore per unit for the SARS MK2, with its unpressurized cabin and altitude restrictions. Anticipating government support, NAL aims to secure orders for 50 to 60 units to ensure manufacturing viability, with an initial order of 15 aircraft from the Indian Air Force potentially expanding to 120-140 units in the coming years. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comment section.